If we don't feel like we belong here, it's really hard to settle in. And it also then works really against the college's desire to promote a culture of care. Sense of belonging is a predictor of success. Feeling threatened impairs people's cognitive abilities. So it's extremely important to talk about belonging. What is, uh... I don't have to hide, pretend, put on airs, or perform. It started during 2020 when I was brought in to lead the equity efforts on campus. Queensboro was beginning to start the conversation about the racial inequities in our student outcomes. Ultimately, we want to close the equity gaps. We also want to get there as a united community. The Truth Racial Healing and Transformation Campus Center is a initiative coming out of the American Association of Colleges and Universities. You have to put out this comprehensive application stating why there's a need on campus for this type of center. And then once you've made your case, they select campuses to attend. It was interesting with the conference because we were sitting there listening to them, thinking, how do we take what they have done to make it work on our campus? It was really exciting to be a part of it, and I felt committed to bringing this work to Queensboro. It's not easy, but if we get into the habit of having these uncomfortable dialogues about important issues, I think we're going to feel more comfortable over time. Doing this work, focusing on racial healing and equity, it gave me an understanding that what I'm feeling, fear, there's a lot of people who feel that fear every single day. People need to feel like they've been heard. People need harm that they've experienced to be acknowledged. And in the experience of telling a story of harm, the way the institution responds to that, that's what creates the belonging. Just to highlight the importance of creating brave spaces where we have enough members of the campus community willing, right, to open up. That's the beginning. To get people to speak up and feel comfortable with that is an ongoing process. And I think that in the conversations with the planning committee and then the larger group that's part of the THRT, we started to build that community and we're hoping to model that in these conversations. What does belonging mean to you? That I get to show up as a full human being with complex emotions, with complicated days, with bad days. Being authentic, feeling safe, being authentic. To really open up and to share yourself with someone. That's what I need to belong. Getting all those different answers, I think that'll give us some direction and some structure as we move forward with the work of the TRHT.